and welcome to this new game. This is Coral Mon. And as you could probably see, it is sort of like a Pokemon game. It's currently, this is just dem the demo. Um, I thought I'd demo it before I buy it. So uh, let, let's give it a go. So again, everything you do see in this uh, demo is it's not, it's not always going to represent the final product. So let's start. Let's start a new game. I have only played for a minute just to configure everything. I'm not going to start a quick battle because I've just had done it. So let's move on. So it starts here, this game's still in development and it, it will not represent the quality. So let's see. Knock knock. It's time to get up, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? No. You, you can't sleep in today. It's your first day at work. That looks solace. Quest started. Story leg. Story log. Why don't you put on something nice so you'll make a good impression? And don't go falling back to sleep now. Do you know, as a kid, this was definitely me. I could not wake up for the fun of it. No matter what, you know, I was more of a night owl, really. Right, so now we can design our character. Um, this is just the shade of the character. I'm going to be a basic person and just create myself, basically. So I'll have that one. And let's put something pretty on me. So, we're going to have all them pink shoes up nice, actually. I'm currently just using the, um, the mouse and um, the control controller. I'm just going to use that mouse. So these are pretty much basically all the, all the kits. No, I am a bit of a red person, so I'll have that one. I'm not going to bother with glasses and a hairstyle. I'm going to go Goku on a Goku, and I'm going to go Ultra Instinct. There's currently caps there as well, if you were interested. I think you can create. Um, I think you can actually change all this in game. You look great, sure I do. And your name is, uh, let's go with a bog standard. I am. And let's move on. So, saved. Looking smooth, looking smooth. So, again, let's have a look. There we are, there we are. Let's make sure all the buttons are configured. Yes, it is. Look and run. I've got my Sonic shoes. So if I that looks a bit like a SNES then. Mum I better not go in there. There's only two bedroom downs, right, so let's have a seat. Good morning. Good morning, Ian. You're lucky shop. Well, thank you very much. You must be so excited you're finally becoming a Lux Solace field researcher. To celebrate, why don't you go to your favourite breakfast place before heading to the station? Sounds great. Come on. They've always got like snezzies, haven't they? Like in these type of games. A delicious breakfast later. So here we are, Ian, at the start starting of your own adventure. Do you know what I just thought a minute ago? I said Ultra Instinct and that. Uh, for Goku, is that is that just a, is that a blue? Isn't it Goku blue, not a bloody in, instinct. <laughs> I'm just thinking they're like he's blue. His instinct's like grey. <laughs> Never mind. So here we are, Ian, at the starting line of your own adventure. You're not my little Ian anymore. Look at you. You've all grown up, choosing your own path in life. I'm a little sad to see you go, but we're very proud of you. Ready for this? Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working for Luxolis. Today, that day has come. That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day, so don't you have to worry about gold. I bet you get about 10 gold or something. Not that it's 10 gold, is not a lot, but it's grateful. Here you go, don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Three grand? <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I'll make good use of it. Good to hear that, man. Oh look, I can see the trains approaching. <laughs> you 
you have everything you need, your backpack, take it, clean, clean underwear. Don't worry mum, I'm old enough to take care of myself. Well, the train's back, you better go before it leaves right here. First big hug. And let's go. Goodbye mum. Oh dear, good day, dear. Sometime later, the train arrives at Luxolis campus. So again, like, it is like very, like, 2000s, 90s per Pokemon game. Obviously for the colour. Obviously it's got more colour than the Game Boy Colours did, but... Again... Let's see how far the demo takes us. Get my Sonic shoes on. Let's see this way up. Hello, new trainers. Could you come over here for a minute? Bob, the researchers. We're Jackum and Marcel, the developers of Coromon. Thank you so much for trying out the demo. <laughs> we hope you enjoy it. There are things you should know about. Please keep in mind the game is not the final starter. We are constantly improving the game and adding new features. For this demo, this means the Coromon will only be able to go to level 25. Your Coromon and Quest progress will be transferred over to the full game if you keep the save file. That's awesome, too. There could be still parts of your game unfinished, so if you find anything unexpected, please let us know and we can fix it. Any feedback is appreciated, both positive and negative. If you like the game, please add it to your... It's already added to my Steam wishlist, mate. Well, that's all we have to say. Have fun. They just ultra instinct me, didn't they? Get back here! I look so this. We offer the trainers an opportunity to customise their experience. Most trainers put their normal difficulty, but selecting high difficulty could be worth, worth a challenge. You know what? I'm happy playing it on my like, normal difficulty at the minute. Because I tell you something, that bat the, the battle I had before was quite hard. Um, you know, the um, tutorial battle. Hello and welcome, let me assist you. My name's Ian. It's my first day here. Oh, new colleague, how lovely. Now, okay, guys, welcome to our wonderful organisation. Thank you. Please give me a moment while I check your registration. Looks we'll like we still need to know your preferred difficulty, which is can we personalise your adventure? Most trainers use normal difficulty, which I would recommend for a regular experience, but take this handbook and read it well. It explains the difference between it. I'll read it carefully. Trainers looking for a challenge may consider using a difficulty rather than a normal difficulty. But what exactly does it entail? This book will explain the rules for the different difficulties. You can't can decide after reading this. It is recommended you choose normal difficulty. So this dip easy. So this difficulty is trainers who take it easy. We'll fully restore the HP when they level us up. No more backtracking. Shop items are 50 percent cheaper. Uh, one of your fans, you don't need to use a special revive item. Instead, you can feed it any healing gun. No extra rules are applied. Right. Hard. This is difficulty for trainers who want a challenge. If one of your karma fails, it will leave your squad heading to the call of the wild. It returns to the habitat. You can't escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. Insane. The most challenging difficulty in addition. Rules of the hard difficulty. These rules also apply. You can't use any recall items for you to travel through. Coromon habit. You can catch one Coromon in each area using the Lux Law. If it faints, you are out of luck, though you are free to capture any perfect Coromon. That insane looks pretty decent. Right, I'm just gonna go for normal. Because obviously, it's first time playing it, so why not? Thank you. Made all the necessary adjustments for you. 
you can return to the computer any time. Let us know if you'd like to lower the difficulty. Great. Before we continue, would you like to... Hang on. Before we continue, could you tell me if you have followed Lux Soil Trainer? Um, yeah, I've done it. In case you qualify for less extensive course, this course quickly takes you through the crucial parts of the training only. But be aware that you won't get a full immersive experience and could miss out the importance of making a trainer. I'm not for a normal training course, it's clearly what it needs to go that path. Since you'll be working in the field research, you'll be required to or going with to carry a criminal review. We have several colours variants for which you can choose one moment. We have a standard blue, green, marvellous red. Oh, I'm definitely going to go red. I'm guessing that's a fire Pokemon, I mean a fire Coromore. Additional gauntlets configured, please report to Larry in the R&D lab. The fist, that's the first build, building to you'll encounter a phone and shine bright. Shine bright! Let's go! Hello, Neil? Hmm, you want some advice for a new trainer? Well, I once forgot where I had to go for my quest. But then I remembered I could check my logbook in the menu and see what. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Fuck you. R and D lab. Can we talk to this person here? Hello, Donald. The gauntlet is a powerful tool. It can be upgraded with any amount of modules to satisfy your needs. Work, 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 go to work, yeah, blah, blah. You must be. You need to rest through such an eon. Yes, yes, I am who you are. <laughs> I knew it was, my instinct never fails me. Oh, that's because I'm ultra instinct. <laughs> my name is Larry, and I will tell you about the magical world of the comet. This way, please. Almost there. Uh, I'm ready to have to keep telling, but here we are in the gauntlet module test area. The gauntlet on your arm. There is technology, a technological masterpiece. Besides carrying it, your Coromon, it can also it can do so much more. It's a multi tool for Lux Solis employees. The Gartland module requires module design enables the user to install new functionality on the, on the go, thanks to modules. Let me show you some of the research we are working on. My colleague Velma here is calibrating the push module. She is optimizing the module to get the powerful output of 100% capacity. So I'm guessing that we're looking to um, push rocks. Cool, huh? Keep it up, Velma. Percy over there is developing a brand new module on his own. Let's say, let's say hi. Percy, my man, can you explain what you're working on for our new colleague? Ah, you're interested in my project. It's quite easy, you see. I combine a sparky plug, spark plug, <laughs> I'm so dyslexic, <laughs> spark plug together with a flammable and you flammable gas to create a combustion. That's, hold up, that's way too technical. Why don't you just demonstrate instead? Gladly stand back. Carefully. There, careful there, you pyromatic demonic. Sorry, I just got carried away. It's okay. No one got hurt this time. Thank you, Percy. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There are lots of useful imp useful modules available and where we are cons constantly developing new ones. We'll provide you with a module as well, of course. But that's, that's all the way on the other side of the lab, and I'm done working for today. Here, take this Lux Recall RC. This device enables us Lux Solid Supervisors to efficiently guide new colleagues through their training. It saves me the hassle of having to warm up. 
Awesome! Who runs to something? I'm a 13 year old. There we go, much better walking there, and a lot faster. You see Casey on the other side of the grass patch, she has your module ready for insulation. Hello there! My, the module give, we give all new field researchers is a distinct module. Don't mind the name or it, you'll love what it does. Let's stimulate where you can show just how useful this stick module can be. For a realistic scenario, you'll need a combo with H low HP. Fair this patch of grass by filling it with wool and all the looks of it must go. Patch of bits! All of them have their HP lowered. This makes it easier to catch wild coromon. Just walk through the grass and a bit and the pat a bit will surely not you shoot. When this happens, use your spinner to capture it. So I'm guessing we're going to use a spinner. Get it. Aim for a spinner. Like to check out, yes, because obviously we've never, we've never played it, so I just want to check it out. So it's obviously got one HP and SP, I'm guessing special points. Attack, uh, HP attack, defense, all pretty similar. Potential standard, species, pat a bit, rarity, uncommon. So it obviously tells you the location, the date, which is today's date, level five. Slam and we have feelers. And isn't holding anything. Over clover positive. If your pop opponent was high attack, the coromars overclock and support attack to match it. Well that's pretty decent it too. Right. Awesome. Give it a nickname? Nah. So we've got to heal it now. Well done, hang in there one second. There, I reset your pack a bit so it's back to full health. Now, you, how will you ever get back without endangering your Coromo? Don't worry, that's where Stink Module comes in. Casey, would you install the module please? Of course, here you go, Eon. Stink Module installed. Let me explain how Stink Module works. First, you need to stand in a patch of grass, and then you can activate Stink. The module go ahead. When you activate the module, you release a turbo stem that will cause a coromon of grass to run off when you encounter any more coromons in that grass patch. Go ahead, hold your nose, and activate the stink. That's just natural doing it, it's not buzzing. You see, the grass patch is completely void of Coromore, and in just five minutes, the module is recharged and ready to use again. Useful, isn't it? It sure is. You should have seen Percy's face when I walk up, walk you up with stink, you module is stink. Yes, anyway, in this lab, we're constantly developing new modules, which will be big help, which will be a big help during your adventures. A number of these modules are almost ready. Keep your eye out on the phone because I'll send you a message once they're good to go and then you can go and drop it off. Drop by and pick them up. I can't wait. Speaking of it, let me restore your... You've just done that, yeah? There you go. All set, but you wouldn't make it far with just one Coromo on your squad. Drop by Nelson's in the Coromo lab, he will provide you with another Coromo to start with. Shine bright, shine bright like a diamond. Let's have a look at this. Can't do anything there. I'm guessing these are like servers. Anything over here? So 
So this, the person making our spinners parent is running low on supplies. That's why I'm trying to to, to out more durable materials for our spinners. While Clamor are living grass and water and caves, be sure to have enough spinners so you can catch some more. Oh, ice. Icy spinners have internal climate control. This causes this cause wild ice Clamor to be more required to stay inside. Well, can, we, can we actually get anyone from here? Let's, uh, let's just have a quick 30 second wander round. I'm guessing not. Nothing in there. Nothing that way. Let's head. Uh, Anything over here. Can I go this way? Nope. Oh. Anything what's happening? I have I have flaws, like still. Yeah, flaws still. Can I move? Well, it took out move. I think the game is frozen. Oh no, the game's frozen. What am I gonna do? Should I press that button? Yeah, I'm using my uh, my keyboard. No, it's frozen. I bet it didn't even save either, did it? Oh dear, oh dear. Right, and we're back. So basically, it did freeze. Um, so when I was stuck here, like so, um, like like so, what it actually says is access denied. But man, it is what it is. Let's have a read of this. Mm, yes, I know that some of these words. So, <laughs> what I actually had to do I was, when it froze, I had to go literally all the way back to um to the start. You know, well, to my save, which is not too good. Right. So now I'm just gonna have a quick wander around, basically. I won't be too much longer uh, on this episode, just um, give you a bit of a sneaky peek. Yeah, let's have a look at here. Let's take this third personality test like you just said. Commons Lab. Hey there, Lux Solace Campus. We research everything Coromos. For example, lead researchers is in compatibility between trainers and Coromos. I choose Torg, Toruga, Toruga. I was surprised when it had different colours than most of us. He also said it had, to, it had to do with the potential, and that it means my Toruga is a bit more stronger than any other. So I guess I'm guessing that's kind of the shiny version from Pokemon. Picking the first combo is difficult. I mean, once you pick one, you can't just swap for another. You. You know, it will be your buddy for life. My test results helped me a lot by his recommending Chub Zero for me. And <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, let's have a walk through, right? So I'm guessing three Pokeballs. Got that? Hmm, what's that smell? It stinks. Oh, hello there, you must be our new colleague. Just give me a moment to finish this process. Right then, should do it for now. Where was we? Ah yes, introductions. Welcome to Coromon Labs. My name is Nelson, the inventor, the creator of the state-of-the-art machine behind me. This is your first day as a field researcher, right? It's my job to match you with a Coromon. Can't wait. Alright, let's get right to it then. Before we, we can start the scan, however, I need to gather some measurements. Let's see. Hmm. Head up checking out my bottom. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. That's all I need for now. 
I'll enter these parameters and then the machine will scan your brainwave. With the data we collected we can advise you on the best possible coin or choice. Please step into the machine to start the analysis. This machine here? Mm, this machine here? Mm. Alright, please don't move anything. The scan or you may lose an arm or two. Or worse, destroy this my scanner. I'm starting the first stage of the analysis now. Okay, for the second stage I'm going to ask you some questions and I'll enter your answers in the machine. Please answer as honestly as you can with the best result. Question 1. You encounter a wild coroner. What is your first reaction? Uh, try and capture it. Question 2. What is your motivation for becoming a Coromon trainer? I want to work with Coromons, I want to protect the uh, values vel environment, I want to become the best trainer. That's some good motivation right there. Question 3. Which of these three attacks appeals to more fiery breath, toughen up, inner peace? So, fire, ground, psychic, maybe? Fire of breath! Not my favorite, but let's continue. Question 4. Which of these colours appeals to you more? Arctic blue. It's gotta be red. It's gotta be red. That's the same colour as my living room. And the final question. What describes your ideal first day? Ooh. It's gotta be skydiving. Or a candlelit dinner. Uh, ideally, candlelit dinner is like a, is a standard. But if someone said to me, let's go skydiving, be sure I am going skydiving. Yeah, definitely romantic. Let's plunge to our death, shall we? <laughs> All done. You can step out now. It wasn't so hard now, was it? Piece of cake! Good luck. Good. Why don't you just stand over there and I'll tell you the test results. <laughs> the Fire Coromon Toruga. This is common. It is very strong, it loves to battle and can learn powerful moves. Nib Nibble Gar, a water type Coromon. The Coromon is high endurance and battle it can outlast most other Coromons. And Ice Face. Coromon Cub Zero. Sub Zero! This Coromon is a jack of all trades, it's perfect balance between offense and defense. And now the results of your analysis. The test shows the multiple options you would like to be a good match. Matt, this makes it hard, hard to choose, right? Why don't you take a close look and pick the one you like most? Right, so what I'll do, I am going to pick this one for sure, definitely, but I will just go over these for you guys. With the attack, let's have a look at the details. Oh, it's a little talker pig. Potent. And perfect. Oh, so, so I'm guessing these are kind of like super shiny and super shiny. Okay. Let's go back. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, okay. It's a little bit like sharky, that isn't it? So yeah, there we are. <laughs> Special, right? So, like I said, I'm definitely going to pick this one. And you know what, guys? I'm actually going to leave it on this one for today. Today, so again, um, tune in. Um, give it about two days from this upload, and you will have episode two. So please like, subscribe to the video, and I do hope you're actually enjoying this. I know it's been quite uh, tutorial at the minute, and I've not done too much different um, than like anything standard. But in the next episode, I do hope that we do get on with a couple of battles. So again, please, again, like the video, subscribe, and you know the rest, guys. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.